the past there are some players that that put uh, won Ballon d'Or like uh, Xavi Iniesta or I don't know Snyder. That's true, Luca. Many great players didn't win the Ballon d'Or, while other unfair winners got away with murder. Lionel Messi, 2010. Well, ever heard of him? Who, you're asking? Messi scored an incredible 60 goals in 2010, but many people felt he was not the most deserving player. Barcelona lost to Inter in the Champions League semi-finals. And at the World Cup, his Argentinian side was dismantled by Germany. On the other hand, one Dutchman led his club team to a treble and his national team to the World Cup finals. Wesley Schneider. Ballon d'Or, c'est évidemment un excellent joueur. That's right. But before all the CR7 fans start to gloat, Cristiano Ronaldo, 2013. Ronaldo also won a Ballon d'Or under a veil of controversy. In 2013, Bayern Munich won not one, not two, not three, but four trophies. And their talisman was Franck Ribéry. Many felt he was the favorite considering he was the best player on the best team. But Ronaldo's 66 goals in 56 games gave him the edge, even though Ronaldo didn't win La Liga that year. But that was less of an issue than the time a Ballon d'Or went to Pavel Nedved, 2003. OK, let's talk numbers. Messi and Ronaldo won Ballon d'Ors in years they lost the big trophies. But their big goal counts was what really mattered. So in 2003, that means only one man could have won the Ballon d'Or, right? Like Thierry Henry, who scored 42 goals and added 26 assists. But Henry only came in second. Nedved scored less than half that. He was given the award because his team made the Champions League final and won the Serie A title. Oh my days, geez Louise. Speaking of confusion, the next guy's golden ball was such a surprise that he even apologized for it. Luis Figo, 2 triple O. In 2000, some people expected Totti to be the big winner. Others thought Zidane would scoop his second. But instead, it went to his Real Madrid teammate, Luis Figo. Figo later admitted he thought he wasn't the best choice. Sorry for stealing the Ballon d'Or in 2000. You deserved it. Those are some strong words coming from a guy like Maradona. Of course, Maradona also praised another guy who won the Ballon d'Or. Michael Owen, 2001. In 2020, we can say it's tragic both Xavi and Iniesta will end their careers with the same number of Ballon d'Ors as Jesse Lingard and the entire staff of Oh My Goal. But Raul's prime came before the days of the Messi-Ronaldo duopoly. In 2001, Raul won the Champions League and was the competition's leading scorer. Michael Owen won three trophies, the FA Cup, the League Cup, and the UEFA, oh, come on man, that's a lot of trophies. But the most scandalous of all Ballon d'Ors went to Fabio Cannavaro, 2006. Look, Fabio was immense on defense during the 2006 World Cup, but Buffon and Pirlo were arguably better. And when Cannavaro went to Real Madrid after the tournament, he was, well, kind of terrible. And a couple of others. Okay, we know there's a lot of you out there who think Modric robbed Ronaldo, Messi, or even Griezmann. <clears throat> Steve, we're talking to you. In 2018, and maybe you have a point. But it goes without saying that he was immaculate during Croatia's improbable run to the World Cup final. And he won a third straight Champions League title. And then, of course, there is Messi in 2019, where Mane and Van Dijk were arguably more deserving. But as we've already gone over this same ground already, over and over and over and oh, oh my goal, this trophy makes no sense, guys. 
So when it comes to the Ballon d'Or, who do you think deserves justice?